some people are skeptical as to whether QE can work in Europe. And of course, there's Greece kind of hanging over the market right now. Is this just noise? Are you optimistic about these, these things? Okay, let's deal with Greece first. Um, I think that was very interesting is that, uh, you know, since the uh, election of uh, Syriza and, mm. uh, you know, back in 2011, 2012, when we had all this Grexit and fears over, you know, Greek exiting and default, uh, you are finding a lot more turmoil in the European markets and the global markets, but you're also finding lots of problems back then in the bond markets in Portugal and in Spain and Italy. And those spreads off of German bonds were widening out dramatically in sympathy with, with Greece. Look what's happened over the past several weeks. Uh, there's been no fallout from what's happened recently in Portugal, in Spain, or Italy. There's been no contagion. And that's because since that time, you know, we don't have Triche heading up the European Central Bank. We have Mario Draghi, mm -hmm. and he has very successfully built a firewall uh, against the other Club Med countries. So you're not seeing that spread of the contagion risk from Greece. Look, if Greece were to exit, Temporarily, it would be a disruption. It would be messy. But let's you know put in perspective, it's it's 2% yeah. of uh, the Eurozone economy. And it could be disruptive near term, but maybe it'll be for the best. I mean, when you think about it, um, maybe they never should have been allowed to enter into the uh, EMU to begin with, and they fudged their numbers uh, you know, to get access to that membership. Sure. But the bottom line is that that could be near-term disruptive. Uh, QE, as I said before, is not the cure-all for the Eurozone economy. But remember, you know, you had the U.S. economy in that first leg of the bull market after the 2009 lows. It doubled mm -hmm. in, in a matter of barely more than a year. And it wasn't because of the economy. It was because of what the market multiple did due to the massive liquidity infusion caused by quantitative easing. It wasn't a panacea for the economy. It's only been very recently that the U.S. economy has really started to develop what I say terra firma, a mm -hmm. real firm ground underneath it. Uh, the Eurozone's got all sorts of structural impediments in front of it, but from a cyclical standpoint, we know what QE can do for animal spirits and for risk appetite. And that ultimately also drives financial assets. It's not always just about the economy. When you're buying the stock market, you're not buying a ticker called GDP. Okay, so there's other things that go into the equation when it comes into how you want to be positioned in terms of your portfolio.